this is the side of the road country ditch i'm hesitant to climb in there this is a place i haven't been oh my goodness it's been a while because remember if you look back at the videos someone had thrown a pig in here and someone else had thrown a dog in here so i never wanted to come back because it was so nasty there's a lot of common trash in here everybody that flies down these country roads throws everything out the window for some reason even geronimo was riding around with a friend of hers and their family and the dad just rolled down the window threw all their fast food trash out the window absolutely freaked her out she didn't say anything but that's just not the way we roll but i did see a unique bottle a minute ago and climbed down in here in my tennis shoes and got it simply because it was a small green bottle and I couldn't stand it because I like small bottles and I like green bottles the bearded one and I along with our offspring hauled piles of bottles out of here a couple of years ago just simply to clean it up a little bit too so anyway I'm gonna do that today and find what we can find and look what we can look at I've thrown about 10 bottles in the bank all modern that one's a bummer that it's broke just because it's small and I like small bottles marked or not this is number 11. I do not have my man purse. There's a small medicine down there. I do not have my man purse, but uh, what I'm doing is sitting way up here on the bank. Then I'll climb back out and <laughs> drive it slowly and throw them all in the back of the wagon. I thought I could see all the bottles from the bank, but obviously I could not because I didn't see that standard looking pickle jar looking bottle right there or this other medicine which is these this creek has never had really old bottles in it I found a couple that one says something but I can't read it yet that's a little phone key isn't it I think it says Whitmore shoe polish so that's pretty cool, unless I just broke it. There's so many jars in here that it's ridiculous. There's a jar right there, a big one, a big jar right there. These are cans. These holes were metal things where the cans are right away. There's a bottle shoved under there. I did not plan on digging because this is just a drive-by. It's pretty far from the base camp. And I simply stop and look. Well, once a year, I guess. And it's usually stuff like this that washes out of the bank. There's two golf balls. Count them. One, two, right beside each other. There's one. Then we'll make it two. Pineapple and calico. Two of my faves. We'll come back to those. There's an old Pepsi. Ah, PepsiCo. I have never seen any animals in this creek. Alive, that is. Welches. <clears throat> Mosquitoes are vicious. There are some older bottles in here. There's pieces of, pieces of Welches 
I really had not intended on getting this far into this mush. I saw a decent bottle back there and I stopped because I drive the side slow. And look in here and if I see something cool, I'll jump out and get it. But then I end up doing this. Look at that lid, that glass lid. That is neat, isn't it? We'll harvest that just because it's a glass lid. Where's your man purse when you need it? Oh, it's in the back of the wagon. Have I talked about the mosquitoes yet? I opened the door of my wagon and I got absolutely covered. It's getting really funky down there. So we're going to turn around and head south. Well, so much for an impressive recap. I walked down there and back up. And, uh, there's a bunch of bottles. And could not find the um, that shoe polish bottle. So I'll find it and we'll make a new pile. Hey, they want to fish. There are alive animals in here. I thought it was only dead animals that end up in this one. If you like old jars, this is the creek to get in. That's a rock. Looks like there's going to be some climbing out and climbing back in. Back in. Good news. I bought a new pair of sunglasses for you. For your uh, viewing pleasure. The only problem is it's still so early in the morning that you don't need them yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fussing in my head about how nasty this is. If I had more time, I would spend more time here. But, you know, that one's a little older. That's one I can't believe survived the horrors of being in here. It's a little cutie, ain't it? We'll set it on the side. We run up on an animal that's large and not alive. I guess this is uh, will be confirmed to be the livestock farm animal ditch. Where when one passes, kicks the bucket, they throw it in here. I have opted out on this date of trying to get everything out of here to simply clean it up. That will be another day. This was all underwater, but there was a, uh, it was dammed up below the, uh, below where I am right now, and it stayed full for a long time. And then I noticed the, I 
county or the city or whoever came through and tore out the the obstructions and it drained now it is a lovely spot to walk that must be just one fish because it's the same one it is easier to walk now but the mosquitoes are still vicious hopefully if it ever cools off and winter rolls around of course we're a couple months away then it will be easier to navigate yeah i'm done it was fast wasn't it i had to get out of there there's two gut balls and a cool green bottle and a lid and the rest was garb i had to go to the mosquitoes i'm getting vicious and everything else plus i had not planned on stopping there but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do thanks for watching my videos